Just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Just a moment ago, the lights, the cameras, the action, all the pyrotechnics, everything was ablaze, everything was allowed here in Bank of America Stadium as Carolina emerged from their tunnel. And we are ready to go as the Panthers get set to match up with the Minnesota Vikings. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice gain, too. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the ground, it's Cook. And he's got room. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Justin that good for 19 and a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So a good pick up there. Eight yards of the first down completion. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now a run with Cook. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards there and a first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Cousins pass, thrown away, and incomplete. It's third down, and eight yards to go. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. They'll run for it with Cook. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Vikings have taken a first quarter lead. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And it's now a 7-0 game.
Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Bridgewater and the Panthers going to come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards, a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. One yard you know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Viking seven, Panthers nothing. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. And 11. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. K.J. Osborne deep for Minnesota. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They start the drive with Cook. And they got him behind the goal line. Cook goes down for a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your putter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. Remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Room here to run. Oh, wow. The 
Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over, You didn't I turn guess. it over, right? You're giving, it, giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. And wow, now we gotta go out there and stop people. So yeah, there's always something bots to be gained from it. Yeah, give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is gonna get the credit both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what, those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. here before the two-minute warning. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. It's third down and four. Short yardage, Bridgewater. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards in the Panther first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And Bridgewater able to get this complete to Anderson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. It's on the pickup. Second and six at the 14-yard line. Here's Bridgewater. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. And again, it's Bridgewater. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Teddy Bridgewater able to hook up with D.J. Moore. And the Panthers have taken the lead. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now two.
Joey, Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Osborne elects not to return it. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Troy Pride. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10. Following the interception, here's Bridgewater. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, Bridgewater. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. And he's brought down. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he's going to bolt his way in for a Panthers score. Christian McCaffrey in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. time to work with here nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away takes this about five yards deep and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25 now the minnesota offense set to take over again and from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it and i think in this situation that's the proper play but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And yeah, he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Let's go! 
Yeah, this is going to put them back with not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Here's Bridgewater. Into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's McCaffrey. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Carolina, 23 yards, the final tally. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? They, let's, see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. You know what the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. 12 yards there and a first down. And this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. He was brought down by Eric Wilson. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time. And that last run, they just cut right through them. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Bridgewater to throw it. Steps away to his, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Throwing, Bridgewater. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes could prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. 26-yard line. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 26. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Johnson with a completion over the middle. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Three yards remain for second down. From the gun, here's Cousins. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. They've done a great job of doing that. Cousins now from the fifth. Let's it fly for Thielen. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To the air again, it's Cousins. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Rudolph on the receiving end from Cousins. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and one at the Panthers' 27-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll throw again. Cousins. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 17-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Cousins. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. And it's second down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So they'll come up after the incompletion for a second down. Again, it's Cousins. And that is incomplete here. He was looking for Adam Thielen there. But now it'll be third down. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. 
And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Panthers will get the football back. On down. Bridgewater going to lead the Panthers up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Right at the line of No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. And five. This is Mike Davis. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot, and on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And now out comes Minnesota. They're down big here late. I don't know, You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out up. of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. A second down throw for Cousins. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because it nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. Yeah, he's going to get this deep on a Carolina side of the field. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Third and long for Cousins. He's going to let it fly. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Here's Britton Colquitt now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. The 
That's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and ten at their own 43. They start on the ground with McCaffrey, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter. But second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him. And then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great, convincing performance. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.